guys, welcome. This video covers your B-A-G-E-D belt, which is your purple belt, Chatter with the Angels, your blue belt, Old McDonald had a farm, and your optional teal belt, Charlie over the river. The thing with this one is we are into D, which is all six fingers, and it's tricky because there's not really a tip or trick I have to get a good D sound besides practice, 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 okay? Um, <clears throat> a lot of kids get frustrated because they can't get their Ds right away to sound like this. Instead, they sound a lot like this. And that is not the sound we want. We want that nice low. And it really just is a thing of blowing too hard most of the time. So as long as you're making sure your fingers are covered, if you can get the E, just lighten up just a little bit and you're gonna get that D, but it's gonna take practice, okay? So good luck to you and here we go with our belts. Batter with the angels. Make sure with Chatter with the Angels you are playing your rhythms correctly. You are using those quarter notes to make full and complete sounds. Sometimes what happens with these is when people get to the B's, G's, and A's because they're notes they're really comfortable with, they rush through them. Make sure you're giving them their full quarter note values, all right? And that is your purple belt. Up, we have Old McDonald's Had a Farm, which is your Blue Belt song. You need to go ahead and read in your book about a dotted half note. A dotted half note we've talked about in class before. It is three beats long. And so in Old McDonald's Had a Farm, we have our quarter notes, which are one beat. We have our half notes, which are two beats. And then we have our dotted half notes, which are three beats long, as well as our eighth note pairs, which are our TTs, which are... Um, equivalent to one beat when played together, but each of those notes is a half a beat. So make sure your rhythms are clean, and um, here we go with our blue belt. Next belt song is your optional teal belt. It is Charlie Over the River and it is also B A G E D and it is more Tika T's, more Tika T practice. So make sure with this, just like Hop Old Squirrel, your Tika T's and your T T Ta's are different rhythms, which means they're different speeds. I have a lot of people come in and play their tika tees the same as their tt tas, and they're not the same, you guys. Tika t, tika t, t t ta. So, however fast you play your tika tees, your tt ta speed is twice as long. Okay, so if you come in tika t, tika t, t t ta. Or if it's tika t tika t, then it's t t ta. Guys, Charlie over the river, starting on low D, all six fingers. Here it is.
Because that was Charlie Over the River. I played it fairly slow, so the um, eighth note pairs almost sounded like quarter notes, but that's okay because I kept it consistent with how fast I had played everything else. So don't rush those if you're playing your tika tees nice and slow. Um, if you play your tika tees faster, then obviously your eighth notes have to go faster, your quarter notes have to go faster, everything has to go faster. But um, don't rush them. Play them consistently, okay? So however long you're playing your eighth notes, make sure you're playing them that long for the whole song. All right, good luck, have fun, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!